Hi everyone, my name is Min Chu and I'm a sophomore studying computer science at Oregon State University. This is a stimulation library management website that my group and I made over the summer for our web development class. We used HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Node.js to bring this website all together. And a disclaimer, this is not a real library. This is an arbitrary library that we just called Dam Library because Oregon State's mascot is a beaver. And we thought it would be funny and funny if we called it Dam because beavers make dams. Okay, anyway, this is our library's homepage. This is our website's homepage. And we utilized NASA's API to get their image of the day that we refresh every day to a different image of outer space. We thought it was a really cool API to utilize because um, you can get to know more about outer space and learn more about the different planets and stars and why this and that worked and stuff like that. So this description is also from NASA's API and it would change along with the image every day at a certain time. I've forgotten what time does it change, but it does refresh every day. And up at the top bar, we have three nav bars that will link us to other pages. So if you take a look at our books, it would show you the database of books that we have currently. And you can refine your search by either title, genre, or author. So say I wanted to find this book, The Language of Flowers, I just have to key in something like, you can you can type in the entire like the language of flowers, but you can also do the lazy way of like just typing a keyword of like flowers, for example, and it will show up immediately already. And you can do it for these um, either title, author, genre, so say I don't know what are the fantasy books available and there are two right now so say we wanted to add a book we will be led to a new page to create a new book record and you have to fill in this form hit save and it would automatically save the data if it's in the correct format into our database so let's do another test Test 3, test 3, this is going to be 300, it's going to be S009, let's just hit save, and boom, you have the book recorded into our database. So our database is hosted in phpMyAdmin um, from Oregon State's engineering terminal, I think, for this class. Once this class ends, um, the web page along with the database will be taken away from us because they're not gonna our school is not gonna host it for us anymore. But as you can see, we have our new test three book added into our database successfully. And if I were to click the other button which was cancel instead then nothing would happen at all. It will just lead us back to this page. If we go to the About Us page, you can see that there are four buttons that you can click that will lead you to um, the specific page on our current page. The specific spot on our current page, I mean, sorry. So we have the address, how to contact us, and our operating hours. We also have our second and last API, which is the Google Map API, to show where are we located in Corvallis. Even though this is an arbitrary library, but if we did have a physical spot, it would it would just be there. And we chose Corvallis because it is where Oregon State is at. And this is a cool API from Google. So our last database that we have is our rooms database and from the database there is a column called available that is populated by zeros or ones if it is populated by a one then it means that the room has been reserved and 
If it's a zero, that means the room is still available for you to reserve. And this table is being printed based off of that column. So if it's if um in our JavaScript logic it sees if it's a zero and a one, if it's a one that it prints in this table and it prints out more data as you can see, and if it's a zero then it just prints it in this table and it prints out less data. So yeah. Um it took the class was an eleven week long class. But this web page took us about two weeks as our final project and we had a lot of fun doing it. I learned a lot of new things and I hope that you enjoyed our stimulation library management website. Thank you so much for your time.